So you implement wireless in your network infrastructure and it's a huge hit. People are using their iPads, their Android tablets, their laptops to enjoy your wireless infrastructure, but it's time to extend the reach of that wireless infrastructure. How are we gonna do that? Well, several Cisco certification exams are gonna challenge you on how you successfully extend the reach of your wireless infrastructure. We're gonna use three steps in order to do it. And I want you to memorize these three steps, folks. First up, we're gonna go ahead and add a new access point, of course. You need to put that new access point, step one, on a non-overlapping channel. In the case of 802.11g, a perfect example would be channel six and channel one, non-overlapping channels. Step two of the process is to go ahead and name the SSID for these two cells identical. So we're gonna have non-overlapping channels, we're gonna have identical service set identifiers. And the third step, make sure you give yourself at least a 30% overlap with those two cells. This is going to allow your users to seamlessly move from one cell to the next without losing signal. So remember, 30% overlap, same service set identifier, and also non-overlapping channels. This is gonna help you in your production networks. It's also gonna really help you when it comes to your Cisco certification exams. These three steps you're expected to know in CCENT, and of course, in CCNA Wireless. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us in this Cisco video blog where we took a look at the three steps to extending your service area.